when it goes to penalties, what happens to England? If you start back in the suitcase. But it wasn't always thus. At the end of extra time in their semi-final against Germany in 1990, England were heading into what was for them uncharted football territory. It was signalled as a new era. We're in penalties. And it was actually quite exciting. It was um, quite a new situation for us, but we had prepared for it. Gary Lineker is now asked to beat the goalkeeper. And does. England's first ever shootout was going well. Scores. This penalty lot was a doddle. are making every effort to save these. Plus, we had the best goalkeeper in the world. Probably. Peter was 40 then. You know, and he, he had a great World Cup. He, he catches him a lot of times. As a goalkeeper, I think you just try and stay calm and, and you really just hope that your luck's in. But because there'd been extra time, it was past 10 and normally he'd have been tucked up in bed. He knew what to do, he just couldn't quite do it anymore. Plus, he was up against Das Uber penalty and Maschinen. The Germans so ruthless. Yes, yes, yes. All of their penalties were perfect. It's just like, what is this penalty machine? With the score level at three penalties each, up next was Stuart Pearce, regular taker and scorer for his club. Pearce had a thunderous shot, and the only thing at risk was the net. So if one person you, you would you'd bet your life on would be able to pull it out the bag for England. Can he do it for England? He can't! Ilgner has made a save! Everyone was very shocked when Psycho missed, even himself. He probably didn't imagine he was going to miss. But worse was to follow. That means that England have to score the next one to stay in it. But everything was OK, because up next was Chris Waddle, and he was clearly relishing the prospect. His shoulders are hunched, he's not even focused, he's not looking at the goal, he looked dejected. He did an off, give it some welly, though. And England are out of the World Cup. It wasn't even just close, was it? Skied it over the bar. So this is how it used to be lonely. He should never have had his hair cut. I love Chris Jordan. And when he smashed that over the bar, oh, you feel the whole, uh, the whole nation sort of all burst into tears at the same time. It's dreadful. Most players, and I don't care what they say, most players want someone else to miss. And I know that a lot of players where you come and you put your arm on and you say, and you really are thinking, thank God it wasn't me. If you know that you're going to get a pizza advert out of it, maybe, yeah. Yes, whilst we were all too upset to even to eat, Messrs, sorry, Mrs. Waddle and Pierce cashed in with an advert. Pam Peters, <laughs> unless I'm mistaken, <laughs> taking the pizza out of all of us. Oh, 